Hi, this is Dennis Spade, I'm an electronic media editor with Pedal Engineering Magazine. We're here at the IMX show talking with Jim Grimes, the machine integration manager for Sandvik Forma, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the new Coronel Flora with iLog system. Uh, and, and Jim, I wondered if you could uh, tell me what the is the difference between this system and standard solid carbide end. Yeah, Dennis, we're uh, we're actually introducing next year. Uh, not just a, a new end mill, but a whole new uh, milling system. The new system is a, a combination of a holder and the, the core mill plura cutting tools. What we've done is we've added a, uh, a groove system in it and pins in a shrink fit holder with uh, eye lock technology to hold the tool in to keep it from pulling out. Okay. Uh, what are some of the other features and benefits then of this? Of this well, system. we're targeting this program to uh, uh, more uh, titanium type milling, titanium in uh, aero frame components where the milling operations are a little more demanding, where uh, the tool pulling out would be catastrophic in a milling operation. So this is a more secure uh, holding system when you're doing shrink fit. It's a secondary locking system for security. Now, what was the motivation for this new system? Well, when we're targeting titanium milling operations in aero frame, the tendency is the tools to pull out. We use higher helix tools. There's a lot of axial force on the tool. They tend to pull out. That could be catastrophic in aero frame manufacturing. Can you show me what, you're, what you mean there? Yeah, in, uh, in a shrink fit holder, the tool actually screws into the pins holding the tool in. So when the forces are on the helix of the tool, it, won't, it'll, it acts against the pins right. and the tool won't pull away. So it's an it's a extra security for the holder. So if the industry needs this, what are they using right now to, to deal with this problem? To solve the problem now, the, the customers usually use uh, for extra security on a milling operation like this, they would use a, uh, a weld and shank holder where they can lock uh, the shank with a, a set screw. That, that is uh, not as accurate. You get a little more run out with a tool holder like that and less performance with the tool. How many tools uh, do you have with this system? And what is the program? The program is going to look like uh, we'll have steep taper uh, holders in the 50 taper. We'll have Capto. And we'll also have HSK. The cutting tools will be the higher helix, the 50 degree helix tools, roughing tools, the, the Cordell roughing tool, the Plura Cordell roughing tool, and uh, the, the other higher helix, 50 degree helix tools. Oh, when is this going to be available? Uh, the set launch for this program is 2012. It'll be the fir our first new product launch for 2012. Thank you very much. All right.